you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here, and today's video is going to be pretty quick. Um, I am going to share some news, some some toy news with you guys today. Um, you may have noticed last week that I didn't have any videos up, and so I just want to kind of shoot you a quick update that I'm kind of taking a little time off from, from uh, doing YouTube videos. I took all of last week. Um, I'm doing this video in large part just to give you the heads up of what's going on and then um, I may do like a live stream on Thursday maybe even a news video on Friday because uh, there is going to be some big news on Friday which I'll get to in just a minute but uh, definitely it's going to be on the lighter side uh, this week and even today's video is going I'm going to keep fairly short so um, just taking a little bit of time off to kind of recharge my batteries. Of course, we will have continue to have, you know, whenever there's actual toy news, uh, it will be up first, like always on the websites, Toy News Eye, Marvelous News, Jedi Insider, T Formers. So that will continue just like it did last week. Uh, that will continue this week as well. As always, you know, that's the first place you should look for, for the latest toy news. But um, just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I haven't gone away. Uh, nothing bad has happened. I'm just, again, taking a little bit time off just to kind of recharge my batteries and stuff. So um, just wanted to let you guys know that. Now, again, I, I do have a couple of bits of news I want to go in and share with you. Uh, the biggest news being that Hasbro has officially announced that this coming Friday, which is the 16th, they will be announcing their 2022 Marvel Legends HasLab campaign. So they've already teased it before with the Ghost Rider, but we're going to get the official announcement. I expect it will launch uh, around that time, uh, again, Friday, 11 a.m. They will be holding a live stream on their YouTube channel. We, of course, will have full coverage up on Marvelous News. I may uh, be back here on Friday with a video just to go over all the details and everything, and maybe even Thursday, uh, a live stream where where we can talk a little bit more about this. But but Friday, big Marvel Legend News Day, uh, HasLab uh, campaign is going to be announced, and, and, and I expect we'll be starting. Um, and we'll get all the details on that. And again, of course, you know, Marvelous News will have full coverage of all of that over there. Also on the Marvel Legend front, just announced this afternoon, is this year's Marvel Unlimited comic book subscription Marvel Legend exclusive figure. So these are basically just repaint figures they always do for these. Uh, last year it was Captain Kate Pride. This year it is a first appearance yellow suit Daredevil figure, comic book based. Now, we've actually already gotten a first appearance Daredevil as a Walgreens exclusive several years ago. I, I, from this image, it's hard to tell if this is that exact same figure or maybe an updated mold that's been repainted with the outfit. But uh, this year's Unlimited service, when you subscribe to the Comic Unlimited service from Marvel, will be this uh, first appearance Daredevil figure. So uh, they sent out the announcement to folks who had already subscribed. Uh, they have not updated the website as of yet as I'm filming this, but that likely will happen within the next 24 hours. But again, this year's uh, exclusive Marvel Legend figure through the unlimited comic subscription service that Marvel does will be a first appearance Daredevil. Now, the other thing I want to go on and share with you is McFarlane Toys continues to roll out new pre-orders. I think we got new pre-orders every day last week. And then today uh, we started off with pre-orders for those Arkham City figures that we'd seen release uh, a month or so ago overseas. And of course, McFarlane did uh, gold label versions on the McFarlane stores at McFarlane store exclusives of this Red Hood figure and the, the Scarecrow figure. But these are the regular versions. The third figure is that Infected Joker figure. So all of these are now available for pre-order here in the United States. You can get them at pretty much anywhere that sells McFarlane figures, including our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. Um, as I said, we've seen these figures. We saw them over, hit overseas a month or so ago. But now, if you want to add them to your collection, you can go on and pre-order them. There should be more McFarland pre-orders this week. I believe the next round will be this coming Friday. Um, not as many as last week. Literally, again, last week we had DC Page Punchers. We had Avatar. We got the official announcement and pre-orders for the Avatar stuff. We got... We got the uh, seven inch DC page punchers, three inch DC page punchers, uh, the flat, or actually last week was not seven inch DC page punchers. Last week was the flash uh, build a wave uh, um, that I told you that was gonna be coming. So uh, a lot of pre-orders last week, uh, even more this week, including uh, today with those new Arkham City figures. And again, I believe the next round of McFarlane uh, uh, pre-orders will be this coming Friday. 
Also on Friday, don't forget for this week on the Target Geek Out event, it's going to be something from Mattel or some things from Mattel. I don't know exactly what. It could be Masters of the Universe. It might be Jurassic Park. I don't know. But but Mattel is up this week. And then next week, the 23rd, uh, will be Hasbro. Now, originally, it was just going to be G.I. Joe, but then they kind of changed it. And I believe that's because, at the very least, we know there's going to be two Star Wars Black Series figures going up for pre-order from the new Andor series. So that Imperial Officer uh, Ferrex and uh, the Shore Trooper figures, which are Target exclusives, those will be going up for pre-order on the 23rd. So I think that's why, if you had been paying attention, and I, told, I talked about this um, in my last news video the other week, but um, I've seen some confusion. Uh, you know, originally they were promoting G.I. Joe and then they just changed it to Hasbro. And I think that's because probably they added the Star Wars figures that will be going up on the 23rd. But the 23rd, it will be Hasbro for the Geek Out event. Um, could be more than Star Wars and G.I. Joe, I don't know. Um, I assume G.I. Joe is still coming since that's what they originally promoted, but I don't know any specifics on the G.I. Joe, but Hasbro has officially said that the two Star Wars figures would be going up on the 23rd uh, at Target. Okay, so that's all I've got for you today. Again, uh, look for a fairly light week on videos, but keep to the websites for all the latest news. And I, again, I may do a live stream on Thursday and could uh, do a news video on Friday just to talk about all the specifics of what's announced for the HasLab Marvel Legend campaign. But, but uh, definitely going to be another light week, but hopefully uh, next week I'll be back in full force. Um, assuming you miss me. Um, but as always, guys, leave a comment on everything I talked about down in the comment section below. Like the video if you're so inclined. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.